In this video, you'll learn how to update some basic information about your business. Before you start using Xero, check your organization settings to make sure you display the right information on your invoices. To navigate to these settings, click your organization name and select Settings. Then, under General, select Organization Details. Some details will already be filled in. Review these and complete any missing information. Start by enabling this option to show some of your information on your online invoices and quotes. You'll notice checkboxes appear along the side. Select the items that you want to show on your invoices. Note that your trading name and logo will show by default and cannot be unselected. Let's move on to the basic information. Xero adds the display name and the legal trading names for you. The display name is the organization name shown in the top banner of Xero. The legal or trading name is the name that will appear on your invoices. Next, add a logo that will show on invoices that you send to your customers. Let's scroll down to continue. Xero adds your line of business based on the information you supplied when you activated your account. The organization type is your organization's legal structure. Select a type from the drop-down that best represents your legal structure. If you're unsure, check your previous financial statements or ask your accountant. Next, enter a business registration number or leave it blank if you don't have one. Finally, enter a small description of what your organization does on a daily basis. This text will show in the footer of your online invoices and quotes if you make it public. Let's continue to the next section, the contact details. Enter your postal and physical address. If they're the same, you don't have to enter the same address twice, just select same as postal address. Complete this section with your telephone, email and website information. There are other fields you can add, such as additional phone numbers and social media links. When you're done entering all your details, have a final look at the checkboxes on the side and decide what else you want to show on your online invoices. Then agree to the terms and conditions and click Save.